After you've been working in your database for a while, it's a good idea to use the Compact and Repair feature. For example, let me look at the Advanced Queries database here. When I right-click and go to Properties, you see the size of it, 3.26 megabytes. Well, that's a bit large for that database. In other words, let me double-click to open it up. I mean, it's just basically a bunch of data. It shouldn't be that big. What happens with Access is that when you add a bunch of tables, delete a bunch of tables, it'll create pockets. In other words, it won't reduce the size of the database. It'll still be there, showing that there's nothing there. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and compact it, and then repair it, so it can go ahead and crunch that empty space, so we have the original size of the database, and not this extra space that was left there because we deleted something to leave a pocket of emptiness. So let's go ahead and click on the File tab, go down to the Info, it's already selected, click on Compact and Repair. When I click on it, give it a second, boom, it's done. Now it was 3.26 megabytes, right? Let's go ahead and close out of it, and then right-click on it, go to Properties, and now it's 576 kilobytes. What does that mean? Well, there's 1,000 kilobytes per megabyte, and so that reduced it quite a bit, didn't it? So from time to time, you want to go ahead, after you worked in your database for a while, to compact and repair it so you don't have this mammoth file. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.